RobFeeder.com from the Daily Herald writing today that the uh, National Radio Hall of Fame induction ceremony is coming up November 2nd at the Museum of Broadcast Communications in Chicago, and they have announced the Radio Hall of Famers for this year, and one of them is with us right now. John Records Landecker, congratulations to you. Uh, why, thank you, Bob. It's so great to have you in the studio, John. And we are on Facebook Live right now, so if you want to see what John looks like. Uh, John, you know what? Yes. Well, I, I, I wish you would raise your chair a little bit, because <laughs> you're so low. Boy, is there and I know that. Is there I, <laughs> I know that Bob Just likes talking, looking down. <laughs> Bob likes looking down on his guts. Uh, you know what? Stand up. Stand up. Okay, I'm going to stand up, too. Everybody's standing. Uh, and if you're on Facebook, I don't know how that chair works. Serrat and Marciano, if you're on our Facebook there. page, then you're seeing That's what's going on in the studio right uh, now. All right, enough about you, John. <laughs> we saw a movie over the weekend that featured oh, your God. daughter, Amy. Oh, did you see uh, Beatrice? What, how do they say it? Be uh, uh, well, in Spanish, it's, it's Beatrice at, at dinner. dinner. But uh, in Americans, I, I think, say Beatrice. And I hear it's fantastic. It's is fantastic. It? And Amy is... Oh my God! It's like she's delicious in this movie. She plays John Lithgow's third wife. That's I right. I think it's yeah. her th his third wife. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. She is so absolutely great. Thanks. And did, oh did my she God. Uh, did she call you for tips on how to be a third wife? <laughs> uh, no. She tries to get out, but I have to get back to her. The the end of the movie is very bizarre. Have you it seen takes it? a no. it takes a strange turn, but it's very interesting and very different. They don't. Uh, Michigan City, Indiana, and, and the area around there don't have movie theaters that bring in films like that. And that's where you are living these yeah. days. But it's got a great cast. It's got John Lithgow, uh, Chloe Svegny, Svegny, Svegny yeah. uh, Connie Britton. Right. Um, mm -hmm. And somebody else that we have seen Amy, a million times and we don't oh, know her name. Uh, Sure you do. No, um, Salma Hayek. Yeah. She's the star. Oh, no, but I mean... There's, there's <laughs> no, that's Connie Britton. It's the Britain. one that you didn't know. There's another ever, familiar face in that movie, too. Did you ever watch Friday Night Lights? Yes. On TV? Yes. Yeah, and movie. I think she was in American Horror, like the first um, uh, American I, I Horror Story. I didn't see that one. Yeah. So anyway, okay, so yeah, it Amy's was... Doing, she's also, yeah, and um, she's also in a movie that's on demand that she doesn't think is any good. Uh, it's called Hutter's Prayer. And it was shot about two and a half years ago in England. And yeah, it's not great, but the thing I like about it is she shoots guns and gets killed. Oh, yeah. wow. Well, that's different. Yeah. So d when was this shot? Do you, do you remember? Uh, last year. Last year? And yeah. was, is she excited about this? Yes. And there's also one of the cast members from Transparent, Jay Duplass, is also in this movie. Oh. So there's two Transparent, Transparent, of course, on Amazon Prime, if you want to get it now. Right. <laughs> uh, here's here's the here's the story I've been waiting to tell you today on this day where you are a radio hall of famer. Well, mm -hmm. you will be when the uh, November ceremony happens. Uh, I listen to the Elvis Channel sometimes on Sirius XM, and there's a guy who works on the Elvis Channel by the name of Jim Sykes, and he does a show on Fridays with George Klein. I've heard you talk about that. Klein is the Memphis DJ who uh, went to high school with Elvis, so they do a show together Friday that I listen to, and then I hear Sykes from time to time. So I'm listening uh, the other day, and I've become a big fan of uh, this guy Jim Sykes, so I decided, yeah. you know what, I'll send him a Facebook message. Uh, and just say, hey, you, you do a great job. I enjoy listening to you. So he calls me. And by the way, I never knew this, but if you send a Facebook message to somebody, they, they can call you somehow through Facebook. If you give Facebook your phone number. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he calls me and he, to thank me. He was, he was very sweet yeah. to say a thank I really appreciate it because when, when I was much younger, uh, growing up uh, in the South, I was listening to John Landecker on WLS, and John was talking about some football game that was blacked out, and I called him uh, because I was at that football game, mm. and I got such a big thrill of talking to John. So when I get a message from, from you, I think back to those WLS days, and I can't tell you how excited I was to hear from uh, somebody who was on the station at that time. And you, you get that all the time, and does it, at this point, ever surprise you? Yes. It does? It does. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. You, Absolutely. And you want to know why? Because of social media. Oh, yeah. Which gives Because you hear more and more. Oh, it's amazing. Um, and, and 
you know, to be a little nostalgic and all that, if you're going to get into the Hall of Fame, and a big, big major reason that I'm there is because of WLS in the 70s, it would be only appropriate to be on WLS with Bob. That's right. Because, exactly. quite frankly, uh, the whole conglomeration of people who were there, and you've met a lot of them, Marianne, uh, is contributed to my performance, and uh, allegedly that's part of why I'm in. But yeah, I get, um, I get stuff on Facebook. Okay, so I got this thing from a kid, not a kid anymore, who's telling me this complicated mathematical thing they did to beat the touch tones. To beat uh, the touch you know, tone. Or we'd play this tone. Doo -doo -doo -doo, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The 15th call, blah, 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 giveaway stuff. I thought I and, invented that game, by the way. Uh, and no. <laughs> and so he, uh, to make a long story short, he won over and over and over again. And then I lost the, the message he sent me. So I went back on Facebook and I said, you know, if you're this person, did you get a hold of me? Well, he didn't, but a lot of other people did. And there was a post from somebody named Robert Boswell who said they won... A million times. And I have an old air check of a boogie check, a boogie check, a tape of a boogie check from whenever. And Bob Boswell. I remember the name. Bob Boswell is on it, playing Alfred E. Newman's It's a Gas on oh. the phone from his home. I mean, oh, wow. it's very bizarre. What that can is happen. cool. It's very bizarre. So, and when I went, I, you know, speaking of Amy, I was with Amy on a, a junket. Um, Last year, uh, to the Toronto Film Festival, then to Washington, D.C., then to L.A. for the Emmys, and uh, at a TV station in Washington, D.C., two of the people who worked there, one of the news anchors and the entertainment guy, listened to us at WLS then, when she went, she's been to three news stations in Los Angeles, and a TV station, and every single one has somebody there who brings it up. And, that, is and that's crazy. something, yeah, because yeah. when you're doing it, you're doing your job, and you're yeah, not absolutely. thinking about uh, the reach of the station and the impact of the station, but that's the power of radio. I mean, this uh, this guy uh, on the Elvis channel that I like, just as as a fan, I mean, still, that that's the power. I never met the guy. There was just something that came through the, right. uh, the radio waves uh, of this guy's warm personality that I like. So, yeah. John, uh, tell me about your life, because I follow you on social media, on John Leindecker, on Facebook, on Twitter, wherever right. you are, I follow you. Right. And... You are on a lot of the like Hollywood, you know, stuff with Amy, yes. and so what? How often do you see her? What do you do? What's your life like in terms of LA and all that stardom? I uh, I love it. Um, I was there uh, a couple of weeks ago. I'll be going back more often. Uh, my the direction seems to be uh, Los Angeles for a lot of reasons. Um, Screenwriting and uh, taking acting lessons and things like that. Oh, that's and, cool. Uh, where, where? I mean, like, is that in Los Angeles? In Los Angeles, and yeah. where so, there are people who do that. So, do you do you think that you'll end up just moving out there I, eventually? I, I mean, don't your know. granddaughter is there, I, right? I, yeah, two, 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 both of my daughters and a granddaughter, Tracy and Amy, are there, and Iris, the granddaughter. Iris, right? Um, and I think right now it's going to be sort of like a going to try to do like a bi-coastal type thing, you know, back and forth if there was ever a need to be John, out there. John, this is not a coast. Well, it is over there. <laughs> I if, see the lake. If, if, you look, if you look over there, there's a lake. There's a coast. You know what I'm saying? John, uh, give, me, give me the quote you gave Rob Feeder about your first thought after you were told uh, you're going uh, into the National Radio Hall of Fame. The, the, the first thought was that I wish my parents were still alive uh, because they were so instrumental in me getting into radio in their own way. Uh, my dad was blind, so obviously television was not one of his avenues. And uh, I loved radio from the time that I can remember. And of course, <laughs> my mother's, I don't know if you've heard this before, but my mother's maiden name is Records. And uh, that has followed me around a lot more than I ever thought it would. Is it truly and, your middle name? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask I know, I'm enough. just kidding. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Um, <laughs> but you know the old cliche: if I had a dime for every, really, if I had a dime for every, um, and that's the title of the book that you can still get. Records truly is my middle name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and, so there's that, uh -huh. and 
and then the people you wish to thank. Oh, you want me to go? Yes. I want to thank, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> I want to thank the people. I want to thank everybody who worked with me, everybody who listened to me, and everybody who married me. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know what? Do we have John? Do we have John's jingle? Do we have. All right, hang on. I'll cue you for that. John, g give me that line again. I want to thank. <laughs> I want to thank everybody who worked with me, everybody who listened to me, and everybody who married me. Yeah, there you go. Hey! <laughs> Alimony! <laughs> I'm back with more after this. Nick? That was great. <laughs> that was great. Oh, oh, we're still hey. on Facebook Live. <laughs> Let's not forget. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so how's it going so far? Great. Yeah. I mean, all right, Bob? I have a, what? Oh. How's it going? Bob and I have always had a great natural rapport. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and, and so, obviously, this is going to go great. Well, are you, you are you asking, is this going great? Yeah, no. is this going oh, no, great? This is great. Okay. And, so, and you, I, you and I work together. We work together. We work together on TV. On and this is the advantage of being um, on a on a well, Facebook Live. 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 Because it's annoying. Because it's like, no, because I'm trying to keep track of the fact that oh. this is our behind the scenes right now. Oh, right. But this is the commercial break. But, you know, if you are near a radio and you want to listen to us, but why would you? Because... You're listening to us here. Ah, on yeah, but this will also go places where people don't have radios. Right. Maybe, maybe all they have is their phone. Well, uh, but then they, they can go ahead to WLSA. And also they can watch it. But yeah, but you don't get to see what's happening. That's right. Right, but and also they can watch it after it posts. Right. So that's like the real advantage. I got to go think of some ad libs. Be back on the radio. Okay, and so and this is what happens. Like in the middle of the show, what time do we come back? In about three minutes. So, at, yeah, it's 1047 now. So uh, at 1050 or so, we'll be back. Yeah. And uh, Bob is, uh, oh, look, we're watching ourselves on Facebook Live. Oh, my God, technology. <laughs> you know what? I, what I really love is that you have actually embraced technology. And you... Well, so have you. And, yeah, I mean, so have I. I mean, like, right. we... No, you have to. You have to. You have right? to. But a lot of people... Don't you find... I mean, like, people who are, like, your friends and not in the business, uh, and even a lot of people in the business, they don't know how to do things. No, I, and I've worked with people not in the not-too-distant past who sort of poo-pooed the oh, whole idea God. of, Please. ah, we don't need that Facebook stuff, we don't need this, we don't need that. And then when somebody corporately above them decided that everybody needs to do something, there's this overreaction. Exactly. Uh, you know, you've got to post 9,000 <laughs> things a day, and you and have to explain like it all, and all of that stuff, and that's really just overkill. That well, you know what, I'll tell you a little story that when Bob and I were first dating, yes. we weren't even married yet, I bought a computer, it was a Dell computer, and it was the first computer ever that, you know, we had had in the house. And I was so excited about this because I really do... We still have another minute spot here, so... Another minute spot, okay. Mary, you got the White Sox. Um, we, we forgot. Okay, we'll do it later. Did we forget the GenuCell poop? We forget hey, the does that probiotic poop? thing really work? The probiotics? I take probiotics. No, no, I don't want to bring you an ad for it. Yeah, now they stopped, um, they, they that stopped really doing work? it for a while. Really I think, work I think, I think so. Did it yeah, so yeah I think that it does. Yeah, I mean, it's it's like it's good stuff. It's quality okay. stuff. All right, never mind. So anyway, so, so the little story that I was going to tell you is that I buy this computer, and Bob and I are dating, and like two days later, he goes to a store, he comes back, and, now we and have he shows me his okay. new purchase, yes. a new royal typewriter. And <laughs> he says to me, computers are a fad. <laughs> and they're a going, it was, it was not joke. a joke. <laughs> and I am never, uh, this is way before Facebook, this is way before anything else. And he has had that mentality of computers are a fad. Then it was like, Facebook is a fad. Uh, Twitter is a yeah, fad. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, an iPhone or you know, texting that fad, that's gonna go fad, away. That's gonna go fad. away. We don't need that. Like, why would we need that? One day we'll go back to the old style phones. So he, he truly believes that. All right, we're getting ready for the show. We're going back on. I was just trying to kill time. No. <laughs> but it's all true. Okay, so am I doing White Sox? Yeah. <sighs> Tonight 
it's the Yankees and the White Sox at Guaranteed Rate Field. Our free game starts at 6.35 p.m. Ed and DJ with a call of the game at 7.10. Listen to the game for your chance to win White Sox tickets tomorrow morning with Big John and Ramblin' Ray on the proud home of the Chicago White Sox, WLSAM 890. John Landecker has been voted into the National Radio Hall of Fame after his first appearance on the ballot. Rob Peter reporting uh, today. Robin Quivers, also among the uh, folks selected on the first ballot by a panel of nearly a thousand industry professionals. So does that mean in November when they have the ceremony here in Chicago that Howard Stern will be uh, in town? That. I, I doubt that very seriously. In fact, I, I doubt that Robin Quivers will be in town. Really? You don't think she'll show up either? Uh, I don't know. There have been, you know, the history of uh, some people not showing up. Um, well, Howard has famously uh, trashed the right. Museum of Broadcast Communications. Well, that, that probably would be <laughs> not the place that Robin would show up, I guess. Yeah, maybe you're right. But I was just thinking because they have such a close relationship. Yeah. But you're I right. She so. probably it's, won't, it, won't it, be here. So it, it'll be interesting to see who does. I mean, I will. But, but if, she, if she does make an appearance, do you guys think that Howard would? No. I mean, you would don't think that he would support her? No. Well, he'd talk about it, trashing it, but, <laughs> you know, people would wonder what's wrong with him if he started supporting her. Uh, John, know, talk, I mean, ab talk about the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the appearance you made uh, a few weeks ago at a, uh, I think it was a record collector's yeah, convention. Yeah, in Hillside. Yeah, uh, and, and people had the old WLS oh, uh, music radio you, surveys, you didn't have, they? You have no idea. Not only did they have them, they had them cataloged. They had them sealed in plastic. They had <laughs> binders. They had every survey ever made. Uh, they had a survey, and I think I sent you a picture with you when we went out to Great America for a promo shoot. Yeah, we were there yeah. when, it, when it opened. Yeah, and mm -hmm. we were standing there next to a bunny or something. <laughs> I don't, I'm not, not a bunny bunny. But, yeah. There were several bunnies. You know, like a rabbit. Yeah, the cartoon <laughs> mascot. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, so yeah. how did you feel when you saw that? I mean... I mean, it was fantastic. I mean, who thought But that? I mean, but... Besides fantastic, yeah. like how did it make you feel? Like in your heart, like you're seeing, like your life is there. Like other well, I'm people amazed are, that are things, enjoying I mean, it. I, I'm amazed, and Bob made reference to it earlier. We were just doing our job, and I'm amazed that it has had such a shelf life, and that people connected with it so strongly that they maintained this connection on their own. But doesn't it make decades. you feel a little emotional? I mean, no, no. Oh, you mean like it weepy? Yeah, no. I mean like. To although, see, although no. John it's mentioned, like a, John, it's what? Go ahead. What? No, I was gonna say it's like such a tribute to well, you. John, I you mean, mentioned to be that, honored that way. to Rob Feeder that your wife was teary when yes. when you told her you were <clears throat> in Nika, the Hall of Fame. Nika cried, and then uh, Amy told me that she teared up, but I didn't. Like I did. <laughs> Well, I, I and you. I don't even know you that well. <laughs> well, you know, Bob is, I think Bob is, 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 is just as much a part of this as I am. I mean, but he's no we, Hall of Famer to be. But we did, we did, uh, we did our job, and uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of people who contributed to it, and it's it's not like we went away and we're gone for. 30 years and all of a sudden somebody they found us in a jungle and brought us back to, you know, yeah, you, by the way, you're not encased in plastic. It, it, right. It's like, we've been around. It's not like, I've been on WLS many times since then. That's right. Inclu including today. And John is also, and has been for a while, in the radio wing of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland. Yes. So, okay, so that's and, two. So, what's that about? That's about, they've got a tape of me. <laughs> they have, what? They've got a tape of you? They have a, they have a radio display, and you go in there and there's a screen, and you tap what decade and what part of the country, and then you can select from a, a list of people that they have entered into this exhibit, and you push a button, and it'll play a little tape of you. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, I'm in the Museum of I Science mean, and PR Industry. No, I, I'm the voice <laughs> of the coal mine at the Museum of Science and Industry. <laughs> and have been. Aren't you also inside some human heart or something? Uh, they threw me out. Oh, my They God. changed the format. They wanted to go in a different direction. <laughs> younger? <laughs> yeah, I wanted to go younger. <laughs> a younger heart. <laughs> and then, of course, the Chicago 16-inch Softball Hall of Fame Absolutely. media wing. 
I, I say that softly and not because... And you're in the TV circle of something, aren't you? Oh, the silver, silver circle, circle, that just means you're in TV 25 years. But basically what's hurt me in the voting for some of these things, once, uh, years ago, I shot a guy in Reno just to watch him die. <laughs> <laughs> and they hold that against me. Plus, he left radio. You left radio, right. right. So how many years do you have to be... What's the requirement? Do you have there, to be in radio is, like 40 none. years or no. something? No, uh-uh. So, but you, because even though you left radio, you've always done radio on the side. Can you get him nominated? <laughs> Stop it, will you? Cut it out. Uh, you now have uh, some pull, uh, apparently. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's my job to <laughs> lobby with you. And, uh, no, we're so happy I for you. I think you could take that whole WLS staff. That was around at that time. I put him in this hole. Yeah. Oh yeah. And no kidding. Larry, Avon Larry, Daniels. Larry Lujak and Fred Winston. Avon Daniels is in. Mm -hmm. already oh in. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. the idea for we didn't work with him at WLS anyway. He was before us. He came. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, mm -hmm. You know that Ronald Reagan and FDR are in the Hall of Fame. Ronald Reagan would be in the Hall of Fame because he did baseball right. broadcasts. Right, that's state, didn't he? Ah. Uh, wasn't he? And he had mm -hmm. recreate from a teletype. Mm -hmm. And FDR, the fireside chest. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's quite an honor, and you're in good company. Yeah. Oh, it's... It, I don't care what Howard Stern says. Oh, take a look at who's <laughs> in there, and it's quite amazing. And uh, do we now admit that you uh, took a Boogie Check and Americana Panorama from uh, Franklin Roosevelt? From I did. I did. <laughs> um, he was trying to uh, bring up the spirit of the country because it was in a quote unquote depression. That's right. Right. And he thought he told little tales next to the fireplace about old songs that uh, he would tell a story, and the story would end in the title of the old song. Uh, one of his favorites was Down by the Old Wood Stream. I don't know that. Uh, I, the first one I ever heard. Man. I'm stealing that stuff. Great bit. That's Great right. Bit. So even though you're in the Hall of Fame now, John Landecker is rapidly becoming known as actress Amy oh, Landecker, no. I'm, I'm, Landecker's I'm father. Known, I am no, I am known as Amy's dad. Yeah, Amy's okay? dad. Out in out in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. uh, especially around the transparent people mm -hmm. where I've been I don't know how many times. You think you'll get a role? Um wait a minute. I'll get back to that in a second. <laughs> um many people know my name, but Everybody knows who Amy's dad is. Uh, who's in the bus? Well, we got someone, 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 someone. Amy's dad's here. All right, thank you. <laughs> uh, Do you, are you uh, are you taking acting lessons because you would like to, you know, be maybe? Well, Amy told me parts. that Amy told me that acting is the greatest team sport that there is. Yeah. And I love team sports. Uh, I did work as a background extra uh, this past year, and if you go to. Uh, episode 10 of the last season, uh, last year's Transparent, and uh, they go on a cruise ship. I am, if you're paying really close attention, on about 16 times. Really? But nobody sees it. Because? Nobody. Because they, because don't, they don't look at the people. They don't, they don't look, look at look the people in the background, I, yeah. I was sitting with one of Amy's friends at this press deal a few months ago, and they're showing that episode on three gigantic screens, okay? And my this one scene comes on where it's quite evident that I'm sitting in the middle of this bar. And it's up there, and it goes by, and the thing's over, and I say to the friend, well, what do you think? She goes, about what? I said, I, you know, I was, I was in those... I didn't see that. <laughs> okay. no, nobody looks at the extras. So, no. so to be an extra, you don't really need acting lessons. So obviously you're going to be aiming for more than just to be an extra. Give me a couple of things that you've learned in acting lessons that well, maybe I, I could use. Because I, I'd like to do what you're doing. I did act um, last year at the Dunes Playhouse in uh, Michigan City in a play called Marvin's Room. Oh. And that was a movie that was out in the early 90s, and Robert De Niro uh, played the part that I played, the, the doctor. Uh, what have I learned about acting is that it's more about listening than anything else. And is it about being yourself or trying to be someone else? I, I think that just totally depends on what the role you're given. I, I, I can't... I think every actor probably has an element of who they are in everything that they do, but it's also things from your life right. that you access to move this thing forward. And I think one of the things that I've learned about Hollywood is they're, all, they're always interested in an idea. 
no matter who brings it in, they'll if you can get in front of somebody, they'll listen for about two minutes. They may never talk to you again. Right. And they may take it. And even if they take it, and it gets... Uh, you paid for writing the script and everything else. It does not necessarily mean that it'll ever be done. There are people who have made great livings in Hollywood writing things that you've never seen. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But there's so much stuff that there's has so to much. be done yeah. so that they can whittle down to what they're actually going to use. It's a miracle that uh, anything, especially something really high quality, ever gets to the screen, whether it's television or the movies, because there's so many... Uh, uh -huh. So many obstacles. <coughs> Somebody to go think, through. yeah, uh, a lot of people stir in the pot. I love your your perspective, and I love it when you're here, and oh, it's so fun to see you. I like I like seeing you too. And we want more the, uh, the National Radio Hall of Fame medallion you're wearing around your neck. <laughs> that is a bit much. If you're on Facebook Live, you know that's not true. John Records Landecker. <laughs> I love the gold chain because it's Hall of Fame bling. <laughs> and uh, we'll get to uh, Dennis Records Rodman uh, after the news. Congratulations again, John. Thank you, guys. Bye, John. Bye-bye. From Woodfield to Springfield. Oh, thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, you want to say goodbye to our Facebook friends? Thank you, Facebook people. Yeah. Yeah, and this will be posted, obviously, so you can see this anytime. Yeah. And please you. come back and watch it many, many times. Yeah, yeah, tell all your friends. Share yeah. it. Share it. Bye. Say bye, Bob. Say bye. Hey, adios. Okay, bye.